In this video, let's look at how to batch resize multiple images for web. If you're uploading to WordPress or just need some web ready images, this is a really quick way to do that. First, you're going to open up your actions panel and have your image open. If you go to window actions, we're going to be creating a new action with the plus sign. And we can call this web ready. You can't organize these by making more folders, but we're just going to go with default actions, record. Next, we'll go to image size. And let's say we're going to resize these to a max width of 1600. We do want the resolution to be at 72 DPI. You might have to adjust again. And if you don't want this to save over your current image, you're going to go to File, Export, Save for Web. You can choose your quality. And I'm going to create a web folder here. Save. Next, I'm going to close and not save. And we're going to stop our script now. So we could do this manually by opening another image and playing the script again with the play button. And if we check our folder, we'll see both images within. If we open this up and check our image size, we're at 1600 pixel width. Okay. Another way to do this even faster than opening each image is to go into Bridge. We're going to select all of our images except for that folder. We're going to go to Tools, Photoshop, batch and we're going to select the action which we called web ready you can choose your destination folder and here you can modify the file name further you can add a date to it if you'd like or number And this is going to process very quickly all of our images. So here they are now. Another way that we can quickly save for web is without doing a script you can select multiple images. If you go to Photoshop Image Processor, let's create another folder. And here we can choose the JPEG size. So if we want a max width or a max height, we can set both of those here and they will resize to fit as the max here for your pixels. Let's go ahead and run this. I do want to note it does accept PSDs and TIFF files. So if you've got a bunch of Photoshop files that you need to save out as JPEGs, this is a really great way to save you some time as long as your processor can handle it. So let's check our Web2 folder. And 
it's created a JPEG folder inside of that. And let's open up a couple of these. So our image size here is 1600, which we set as the max width. Let me see if there's a vertical one. I don't believe there is. But the max height would have been 1200 pixels. If this video helped you out, please like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.